Hey y'all, Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. Today we're outside. <laughs> so I showed y'all in a previous video of some bargains I found at Goodwill and uh, Marketplace and all the things. But today we're gonna use our big glass bowl that I found at Goodwill for $3.99. And this was a big old um, water fountain that I got many years ago and it got to where it would not hold water. We did everything. Um, my husband tried to repair it, never could get it to hold water. So um, I've been using it like this. And y'all, I got these over three years ago off of Amazon. These are wonderful and I haven't even changed the batteries yet. And you can change the batteries, but they're um, little lanterns and they look like flames coming up at night. I'll try to make a clip and put it at the end of the video for you. But they come where you can, you know, you can mount and screw them on your fence post or um, stake them in the ground. I had these um, Tiki lantern holders <laughs> and they're metal. So what I've done, I didn't want to put, keep filling them up with oil and having to light them and all that kind of stuff. So that's why I ordered these. I set these down in here. And then I took, keep them from blowing away or whatever when the wind gets crazy around here. I take a black zip tie and I just secure it. And so that's the way I've used mine for several years. And I'll just put them around wherever. It's not, I'm not gonna worry about getting it straight right now, but um, I love those. So I had set it on top of my fountain because I love my fountain and I wanted to have some use out of it. So the bottom, I've got flowers in and I'll show you that too. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna use some E6000. And I'm gonna put it, I'll tell you, it's probably gonna be better to put it on here this is my glass dish that I got for $3.99 at the Goodwill. So y'all, I forgot to charge my microphone. I'm trying to talk louder. Cause I'm outside and the wind's blowing. I hear the hummingbird above me. Let me close this. It being hot out here, it's gonna eat, ooze a lot faster than normal. So I'm gonna sit this down in here. I'm gonna show y'all how easy it is to make a, uh, a water fountain. This is solar. And I get these from Amazon. It's already running, so it comes pre-charged. Help me. By knowing if it's level or not. How easy was that, y'all? I'll put the link to this one that I got from Amazon uh, in the description if y'all wanna uh, check it out. If you don't, no, no problem there. But um, I order these, they last. Um, I bring them in in the winter so that they don't freeze and damage from the cold, but um, I'm still using one that I got. This is the third summer, I think. Um, so it depends, some last two years, some last three years. Um, 
it's still working, but just not as high. Um, and I, they fluctuate between $9.99 and $12.99. But, um, and I'll put the one, uh, a link in there to the one that's got some lights on it. But um, I, I just love it. And I wanted to add more waterfalls and bird baths and stuff to my garden area. So I thought when I saw this bowl, I said, that'd be so pretty. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. And just think of ways you could use uh, like a pedestal, like I got off of um, Marketplace. You could use a pedestal, you could use um, a flower pot, turn it upside down and get you a bowl. Um, all kind of stuff. There's all kind of little um, frames and all that you can use. You can even use a tomato cage. Put the stakes in the ground and make you, I wouldn't do a, a heavy one, but you could use like maybe a plastic bowl and that would probably work. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this and I will see y'all in the next video. Please hit the bell and click all for all notifications. I just heard my hummingbird again. I need to get out of the way because I have three feeders behind me and she's probably wanting to get there. So maybe she'll find my water fountain. So thank y'all for watching, but hit that bell and select all so you get notified for every video that I upload. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, y'all. Okay, I changed out the old um, water fountain, solar water fountain in here. I cleaned the filter in it. I figured out how to take it out and I cleaned it and it works as good as new. So for the two, three year old solar fountain, depending on the sun, Look, it was just barely going a while ago, and now it's up and at it. So you can use one that's two or three years old. And I'll go show you where I put the new one. I love my peacock, y'all. I put the new fountain over here. Look at it go. It has a bigger dish, so I put it over here. It may be um, like a 0.5 watt stronger. I hear the hummingbird, y'all. That's where she goes to. And then here's our other water fountain that we've made. Still loving it.